Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for March 24th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Offset Sudoku by Bill Murphy. This has some shaded cells in the grid. Um, so in addition to normal Sudoku rules, one the 9 h row, column, and 3x3 three three box, we have some shaded cells, and digits in the shaded cell must appear in the x cell in the row below it, where X is the digit to the right of the shaded cell. So that's a little wordy, um, but Bill gave us an example. If this cell were shaded, and there were a 9 here, and there was a 1 here, which there can't be, this clue is telling us that 1 in the next row appears in the ninth cell, so it would go here. All right, um, those are the rules, and I think we've done at least a couple of these before, um, but it's been a while, and Bill was very generous with this one in um, making the variant part pretty straightforward. So um, this clue, we need whatever digit appears here to appear in the first cell of this row. Well, we already have a digit in the first cell of this row and it's 6. This clue tells us we need this digit to appear in the second cell, and that's a 7, so this must be 7. This is the third cell, the third cell is an 8, and this is the fourth cell, the fourth cell is a 9. Here we need the fifth cell, which is a 1, the sixth cell, which is a 2, the seventh cell is a 3, and the eighth cell is a 4. So we've already completed all the clues. Um, now we're just doing classic Sudoku at this point. Um, it's a pretty minimal classic Sudoku. There's not just a whole lot of givens. Um, I didn't count them, but something like 26. It's not a huge number. Anyway, um, so let's look at the classic Sudoku. And one good place to start in this puzzle is the digits that we just filled in. Um, because we know, for example, we have two sixes in the top two rows. So we can think about where 6 goes in the third row, and it goes here. We have two 7s here, so 7 is going to go in one of those cells. We have two 9s here, so 9 is going to go in one of those cells. We have two 1s here, 1 has to go in that cell. We have two 3s, so 3 goes in one of those cells, and we have some 4s, 4s on one of those cells. So that gave us a couple of digits and some other restrictions. Let's see what else we have. We have 7s here. Placing a 7, 6 is here, placing a 6. Uh, 2 is going to go in one of these cells. It's the other digit here, 8. So this is a 2 8 pair, and we can resolve that from that 8. So these are 3, 4, and 5. Down here, we still need a 1, it's got to go there. And these are 5 and 9. These now are 3 and 5. This is a 9. And these are 2, 4, 8. I'm having a little trouble scanning this morning. Uh, not totally awake yet, I think. Um, we need 1, 2, 4 in this row, and we can't have a 1 here, so our 1 must go there. It's the last 1 over on this side. In fact, we're almost done with ones. We have a one in one of these cells and one of these cells, which we can't resolve yet. Uh, the six and seven in this column must go down here somewhere. So six is in one of those, seven's in one of those. I'm sure, there's something more productive we could be doing. Let's look at this row. We need a six in this row, so that's going to give us a six there. And five is already in the box, so three, five, like that. This box now needs four, seven, nine. So seven in one of those. Not very restricted. Um, this cell can't be two or eight, so in this row it must be three or seven. Which we already had pencil marked. But placing one of them here is going to place the other one in one of these cells. So that might be useful. Ah, there's two right here as well. So because of the three, this must be a seven. This is a naked single. 
it sees all of the other digits. So this is a 3, this is a 7, this is a 6. We need 2 and 8 in this row, not resolved. Still need a 6 in this row. We've got a 6 there and a 6 there, placing a 6. So it's 2 or 9, because it can't be a 5. So we know 5 is in one of these. What else? Still missing a 4 up here. Ah, 4 down here. This has been here for a while. Um, as soon as we place the 8 there, I had 2 given 4. So that's 4, that's 7. That's probably where I should have been looking all along. Uh, the 9 resolves 2, 8, 2. And now this is 1, 5, 9 in that order. These digits. This is a 3, 7 pair. This is a 2, 8 pair. This is 6, 5. This is going to be 4 or 7, which we already knew, I guess. Uh, 4, 5, and 8. 5 goes here, and the 4 goes here. And this is 8. Uh, 4 here plus this 2, 4, 2. These are 3, 8, and 9. That's a 9 in the column, just to finish it. So 3 and 8, and that 3. Down here, we need 5 and 9. Got to go in this order. And that 9 is going to place 9 here, which places 7, 4, 4, and 8. And then the 7 and 4 look over to finish this off. That's the solution. Um, yeah, so the variant in this one was very much on the light side. Um, I would assume that Bill is planning to make another one of these at some point, and if not, one of me or Clover will. Um, I'm not going to say whether there's one in testing or not. Um, <laughs> no, there's not actually, but. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we revisit this soon with a little more meat to the variant. Um, but fun puzzle and a neat classic, which wasn't as tricky as I was making it out to be. I just looked up here at the course. Um, but hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.